And hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Monster Hunter Double Cross. Now, you might be wondering, why does it look horrible? I don't know why. Literally, like all the other, so I guess just as you'll have seen Animal Crossing videos, um, although they weren't that good either, um, those were at our old house with our old, like, 7 megabytes internet, and now we're at, like, third, we have new internet and it's at 30 megabytes and it's even worse. So, I don't know, I think it has to do with the 3DS itself and its connection to the router. I'm sitting right next to a router, and it still looks like that, so, I don't know. Yeah, having the router closer makes it better, well, super close, and it looks like it might, actually. But, I don't know, the only hope I have left is apparently our internet might switch from 2 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz in like 2 days, 2 or 3 days when they fix something. So, I don't know, maybe it'll be better then, but otherwise this is, a, oh, this is the best I can record 3DS. And you might be wondering, hey, isn't Double Cross a Japanese exclusive game? It is. But, with... So, this is sort of difficult to explain. Um, this is just gonna be like, yeah. So, um, I got, so first of all, I actually have the cartridge for Monster and Double Cross. Um, this will be a bit awkward, this is my first time doing something like this, but, um, show the picture I have of the cartridge in its box, please. Okay. Well, um, hopefully I did that correctly. Anyways, so I actually, so Homebrew, which is where my recording system also runs out of um, has a thing that lets you break region locks as long as it's running the problem with that is um, I don't think I can run both homebrew an instance of homebrew and an instance of NTR at the same time so uh, it looks so bad um, so what I've done is I've resorted to um, getting a uh, CIA of it, and then I've also English patched it. Now, I thought that the cartridge would just not work, but interestingly enough, I start the cartridge and it actually starts my CIA of it. So, as you can see, it's partially in English now. It's a free unofficial translation made entirely, okay. See, it's not all in English, but intro.
Now the quality dips not really actually anyways so I have been playing this a little bit I made oh, I did make a personal account that I am gonna do by myself I've already put 22 hours into this but we're of course gonna do a new game so let's make a new character shall we so, I can't read any of that. So originally I was gonna name him like a nobody or something like that in um, Japanese. Um, so I'm not sure how the... Uh, so let me explain how I'm gonna do this. So this is gonna be in the grind or whatever, so you're gonna be seeing this immediately-ish after it's recording, like maybe a week or so after. A week to a week and a half. Because this is being recorded, you'll be seeing this. Um, I'm thinking of doing like sort of a quasi like how I do Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate how it's like the main story and then it's the uh, um, multiplayer missions and then it's um, collecting all the gear I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to collect all the gear but what I'm gonna do is because I don't know I haven't seen anything saying like hey you can actually carry all the gear all the like weapons and stuff and all the G-Rank armor like you can, I know you can in 3 Ultimate, but that's about it. So, I don't know. So what I'm going to be doing is, every session I will switch how I'm doing it. So for this first session, I'm just going to be doing the story quest, and then I'm going to be doing multiplayer quests. I don't know how it's going to work multiplayer, I've never played this multiplayer. But, um, as in because we'll probably, of course, connect with a lot of Japanese people, and maybe. If it, if I even can. If not, well, I know for a fact that there's this guy online who does do, who has done at least a final multiplayer mission by himself. So hopefully I can do that, but we'll see. And I mean, I'm gonna be, do it eventually, even if I, even if it takes 20 episodes to finally beat that bug. Um, and then I'll be doing a session of grinding, so collecting all the items and upgrading it. Now, I've never actually played Generations. I do plan on eventually playing Generations on this panel, channel. And if they do release, like, I don't know, Generation G? I don't know. Maybe. Um, so basically, double, um, double Cross in English. I will be playing that as an official Let's Play as well. Hopefully by then, the internet will situate itself. I don't know, it's doing better than I expected. Anyways. Him, male. I know, I've been thinking uh, every single, because this will determine whether I do like, well, because I might do Monster Hunter Online and, and the Frontier games, and apparently also Call of Duty Online I've been told to do, um, uh, via VPNs or whatever, maybe. Um, the thing with it is you can't talk, because otherwise you'll get banned, because they'll know that you're English playing their game, which is like, meh. But, um... Yeah, depending how well this goes, will determine whether I play those three series. So... So I'm thinking whenever we do like a Japanese game like this, that I'll just make my guy... 
like, when I say Japanese game, I mean, like, a game that's in Japanese or something like that, or Chinese and online's case, um, I will make him look old. I don't know why, but I don't know. I guess, um, uh, is it flight time? It's not flight time. Uh, jet lag. We'll give him a little feather across his face. Sure, that sounds older. And for the longest time I didn't know you could actually switch colors. Put him in a full body uniform. And I think that's that. And what I'm gonna do is, so of course in Monster and Double Cross versus Generations, you have Brave and Alchemy available. What I'm thinking of doing is, uh, I know I'm probably gonna get yelled at for not trying other Hunter styles. Oh, thanks FPS. We're down to two FPS for a second there. I think I'm gonna do, um, I need, I'm not gonna look at the top screen anymore because it sickens me physically. But, um, I'm going to do, um, so hopefully the music shouldn't be lagging or anything like that. I'm going to be doing Brave Sword and Shield. And then I'm going to just be going down the list so it'll be like Guild um, Great Sword, something like that. So Round Force, Absolute Invasion. Round Force, one. A spin attack that slashes all targets surrounding you during execution, you'll be invulnerable to monster attacks, making an effective evasive technique as well. So evasion, perform a corkscrew like evasion, providing a window of opportunity to make an emergency mistake. So lengthy period of invulnerable invulnerability, choose your weapon automatically upon use. We stop stamina depletion while running away from large monsters and dashing while transporting items, as we on only lasts for a short amount of time. Though so we're gonna go with round force. So I am going yeah. Okay. It's lagging a bit. We're just like actually creating him. Well. And welcome everyone to Burna Village. Which is the same as in Generations. We've got yet another cat cook. Now, here's the thing, I, this might actually be faster than all the other ones, all the other Monster Hunters I'm doing, because, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm also recording for Ultimate, since I can only do this when there's a decent-ish internet. Um, but yeah. So, this might go faster, because I'm not going to read any of the dialogue, because I can't read the dialogue, because I don't speak Japanese, or at least read Japanese, so... Just be skipping through this. Because, of course, this isn't translated, because, of course, that might create issues. You can see that it keeps on dipping. So. I don't know. It's sitting right next to the router. It's basically touching it. No, and I just hope I'm correct because I don't know for sure, but I heard a wireless guy mention that we were like 40 megabytes too, and you're saying like, oh, after some guy does some cable work in like three days, then it'll be um, um 40 megabytes five. So I can only hope. He's probably telling us to do stuff. Mm, but you, chief researcher. He's just talking about that's the Y Academy over there. Otherwise known as the Gathering Hall in this game. Do I have any... Nope. Now, you talk to him every so often and he'll give you monster information, which we will read because it is in English. My flight can pennant. 
So, a lot of this game seems to be revolving around airships. So we were uh, there's an airship in the intro. Manville Smithy. I'll be meeting I'll be talking to you a lot, I bet you. So yeah, so I'm actually just gonna read these. And that's a different thing I'm gonna do. After we kill a monster, I'm gonna read all of the descriptions and stuff. So I will actually be going back. Mine, three ultimate, is actually a long way away um, from me recording more because I've recorded a bunch of it. So, you know. Push right blade though. Made using a fossil from the Y Academy, the default grit sword for burner hunters. And different to uh, the other 3DS one. Um, I don't know about three ultimate on 3DS, but you can actually both see the weapon and read its description. Iron sword, a great sword that seen extended use for ages, good for beginners too. That's a normal default. So from what I can tell, generation starts you with petrified stuff, whereas all the other games start you with the the second option, which is like this iron sword. Bone cleaver, a great sword made of monster bones. There's destruction, destructive power above all else. Long sword, petrified saber, made using a fossil from the Y Academy. Surprised that they're just giving us fossils to use as weapons. Um, the default long sword for burner hunters. Iron katana, long sword forged with lethal method. Durable and resilient, but requires regular upkeep. Don't I know it? Serrated jaw, so made from monsters jaw, turns hunters into butchers. Oh yeah. Although, you'd think it gets stuck. Good sword, amazing fossil from the Y default sword and shield for burner hunters, which we have. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna make a huge like list of like because how this game works, you know, contrary to other ones, is you level up like the petrified sword. And if it hits level eight, then it's at its scholarly sword state, which is its maximum. But, um, for just that, but when it reaches a certain level, you can turn it into a different weapon. Whereas, like, if you remember from 3 Ultimate, even though I don't think we've gotten there yet, um, or you haven't gotten there yet, there was at least some point where, like, a hunter's, my hunter's dagger can turn into, um, either a poison sword or an ice sword. Um, it's, instead of doing that, instead I think that, like, you can get the best hunter's knife. Along the way, you can turn it into that ice dagger, or you can turn it into that poison dagger. I don't know if you can turn into those two specific weapons, but there's a simple yet functional sword and shield beloved for, by hunters for ages. So actually, a big theme from this game, is, and also Generations, is going back to, I guess I said the last 10 years, even though Generations was released in 2016, and the first one was released in 20, 2004, so... Bone Chris, a simple dependable bone sword that's perfect for beginning hunters. Oh, we need bones. Dual blades. Red dagger is made using a fossil from the Y Academy. Oh, dual blades for burner hunters. Daggers, the most basic of dual blades that opt for ease of use over any sort of style. Bone size. Dual blades that trade sharpness somewhat for elemental affinity. Oh, hammer. How oh, I've. See, I have actually, I've done the tutorial missions by myself for all Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Um, so I actually somewhat know how to use these. Now the problem with that is guild style is what those were used to be, and now we have all these different styles. So I'm going to have to play around with these weapons, of course, on screen, because screw me if I'm going to do anything off screen and actually save you guys time. But I try a hammer, the fossil from the like enemy. Hammer for burner hunters. Iron hammer. Just a weapon if an old hunter before hammers were in. It's rather crude. Bone hammer. Hammer made from superior quality bone. Or a ship provides its materials power. Petrified horn. All oh, these things. And then fossil from the Y Academy. The default hunting horn for burner hunters. I don't understand how that's a horn. Like, I don't see any way it can make sound, unless it's like, the bone falls in, unless it's like, supposed to be like an accordion? I don't know. Iron horn. Musical weapon made from iron, extremely sim simple, in both form and function. Now, this is actually not the normal iron horn. 
because the normal iron horns, like, well, iron whatever, um, is, I guess they're all horns, even though they're not, um, because the normal iron horn was a bagpipe, and this is a Yodelei horn, I think. A weapon made from iron, I mean, simple in both form and function. I hope there's actually a clarinet version, since I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I do, or at least I used to play a clarinet. Putting on made bone for novice hunters, people love its balanced feature set. Yes, the blue. Oh, cool. Blue mushroom looks like it's the top of that horn. Lance, oh god. So, I found that I'm the worst with the lance. Mostly, though, because I haven't practiced much, and because lance is so. like, adjacent to the normal. to all the weapons I've ever used. So, all the weapons I've ever used, you just roll for a dodge. Whereas the lance. where there's the two lance weapons, you. You'd step. You jump like you do side steps, you do back steps, so that's probably why I sucked against the great jaggy there, but we'll see. Let's ride lance. You know fossil from the white the default lance for burner hunters. <laughs> it's pretty decent. Compared to all the other stuff. Iron Lance. The lance for newcomers made with a lot of attention to minute details. Bun lance, a bun lance that sends up the snuff. Fans those it's wild decorative bits. Perfect gun lance. Now using fossil from the I can read the default gun lance for burn hunters. That looks sort of cool in a sort of like it doesn't look good what sort of way. Cause it's like a gun barrel with like rock tied to it. Wrapped around it more so. Gun lance, gun lance is inexpensive and durable. A good starter weapon for any hunter. A default one. And bone gun lance. An introductory gun lance for beginner hunter. Its light design is perfect for sparring. I should just like spin this around while I read it. Um, but we will actually read the petrified axe next time. So, if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya.